Welcome to Joe's Astrology. And the chart that we're looking at here, this is Jesus Christ. And I don't have the time or the date. I just have the chart. I, I probably could get it. I'm not even going to look at it. This chart comes from a book called Pluto, written by Jeffrey Wolf Green, an astrologer. And he got this chart from a author named Donald Jacobs. He wrote a book. I think I believe he was a priest and wrote a book. I don't know what the book's called, but if you look up his name, Donald Jacobs, something about a pew, church pew. <laughs> I think that's where he got it from. Um, Astro Theme has this chart, I think, as a Capricorn or a Scorpio rising, not a Sagittarius rising. So you can check that out. And I just did a quick search online on YouTube, and the other charts were a little bit off as well. So somebody's wrong and somebody's right. But we're going to go with this chart because I think this is the one that makes the most sense. Jesus Christ, Sagittarius rising, truth seeker, you know, religious person. The ruler is Jupiter. It's down here in Pisces. So in the beginning, you know, we could see the religious with Sagittarius. We could say he's He's got three degrees rising. My Jupiter's at four degrees. So I definitely resonated with Jesus Christ in my life. But we could say at this point, Christianity, religious, etc. But then we come down here with this Jupiter and Pisces, it, it gets interesting. We could still say, you know, teacher, religious teacher, but it's in the third house. And it's conjunct Uranus. Right here's Uranus. And this is where it gets interesting. This is where we start to get away from the religious part. And the, when the religious, the religious part just doesn't make any sense anymore. But it is in Pisces. So we still have the spiritual teacher. He's got a stellium here in the third house. Lots of third house energy where he's really speaking. This guy isn't afraid to speak what he knows about Pisces or what he knows about spirituality. Sun in Pisces, Sun Uranus, Saturn in Pisces, Venus in Pisces, and Moon in Pisces. But with that Uranus there, I mean Uranus Sun, Uranus Jupiter, let's see what else makes contacts here. Uranus Neptune trine, Uranus trining the North Node. Yeah, it's it just it stops real quickly at religious teacher and quickly changes to a spiritual teacher with that stellium in the third house. We have this Mercury in Aquarius ruled by Uranus. Sixteen degrees. So it's making an in conjunct to the Pluto Mars here. Again, more more evidence that he was not what people think he is today. We have this uh, Pluto Mars, Pluto Mars in the ninth, more evidence of a spiritual seeker, um, somebody who's a, more likely than not adventurous in this area. Neptune on the south node, Neptune moving towards the south node, I have this in Capricorn and Sagittarius. And I can tell you that as Neptune moves closer to the south node in my life, I'm speaking out more and seeing more of uh, becoming or becoming, at least becoming very interested in being a spiritual teacher out in the open in my life. And that's what we hear with the story of Jesus, with him sometime sometime around age 30 or so. You know, to me it doesn't matter whether it's 30, 40. This is this Neptune moving towards the South Node sometime in his life, really coming into becoming a spiritual teacher. 
but not, but definitely not in the beginning of his life. You know, we see the, the North Node here with nothing there. Also, and it's here with the South Node, so more like more evidence of shaking things up. Uh, this is not, you know, if we saw more North Node, that would probably indicate more of a Christian movement. This again is more of this uh, Mars, Uranian energy, shaking things up. I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, not much else. I mean, I think that pretty much covers the important stuff.